Development of Digital Devil Saga began in the year 2000. Japanese novelist Yu Godai was approached by her publisher Kadokawa Shoten asking if she'd like to write a story for a video game. This request had come from video game studio Atlas, whom needed story ideas for their next title. Godai was already a huge fan of Megami Tensei games, so this request from Atlas was a dream come true. After accepting the offer, Godai got to work on her story pitch and submitted it to Atlas. The studio approved it and brought her on to the project to serve as one of the writers. For this arrangement to work though, she had to move to Tokyo so she could be close to Atlas's headquarters. This actually worked out pretty well and she spent some time writing, advising the project, and refining what would come to be. For Godai, writing a story for a video game was different because the medium is more interactive. Her solution was to write a story that could be worked out as both a novel and a video game. The amount of writing she did for Digital Devil Saga went up to the first boss fight. After that, the story would be handled by Tanashi Satomi, a scriptwriter for Persona 1 and the Persona 2 duology. Godai herself did not stick around for long. The reason why she left the project so early was because of health issues and not being able to adjust to living in Tokyo. Thankfully, there is a happy ending in all of this. The contract that Godai was working under allowed her to publish what she had worked on. So in 2011, after a decade of chipping away at the manuscript, Godai finally published her book. Quantum Devil Saga, Avatar Tuner. Now it should be noted that this book is not an adaptation of the game. Although it takes place in the same setting as the game itself and the cast is still the same, the story beats and scenarios are completely different. If you can though, I recommend giving it a read. It's really good. Digital Devil Saga was directed by Katsura Hashino, whom at the time was a new director in Atlas. When developing DDS, one of the main goals of the project was to appeal to a broader audience while still keeping true to the roots of Megaten. You have to remember that this was Atlas in the 2000s, and although SMT was doing well in Japan, in North America, SMT games tended to struggle sales-wise. Despite that, they still got a lot of praise in JRPG circles. Out of all the PlayStation 2 era SMT titles, Digital Devil Saga to me stands out the most when it comes to presentation. The cutscenes are pretty well animated, with that familiar yet unique SMT art style we all know and love. Not only that, but there are plenty of these cutscenes throughout the game, and they're all voiced. These scenes were storyboarded and choreographed by famous animator Ichiro Itano. Ichiro is famous for his work on Mobile Suit Gundam and a number of other mecha anime. The English cast for Digital Devil Saga has quite a few names you might recognize. You've got Amanda Win Lee who voices Arjula, she'd eventually go on to voice Yukiko in Persona 4. Steve Blum, a man who needs no introduction, plays as Gale. The late Bob Pappenbrook from the Dot .hack games in Dynasty Warriors plays as Varen Omega. Yuri Lowenthal, another Persona 4 veteran, plays as Surf, the protagonist. Mary Elizabeth McGlenn, who voiced Major in Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, plays as Jinana. Lex Lang, voice of Goemon Ishikawa the 13th from Lupon, plays Harley. Crispin Freeman, who played as Itachi Uchiha, voices Heat. Wendy Lee, the lady behind the voice of Yoroichi from Bleach, plays as Sarah. And finally, Dave Wittenberg, the man behind Kakashi's voice, plays as Cielo. As always, I've gotta give props to the voice actors for delivering an excellent performance and bringing these dudes to life. As a JRPG, one thing that stands out about this game is the music. Instead of sweeping orchestral epics that blast from your speakers during fights, the soundtrack is instead a blend of hard rock, alternative, and some grunge thrown in there for good measure. It sounds exactly as you'd expect, delivering down-tuned guitars, heavy-hitting percussion, and a catchy-sounding bass. The main combat theme you hear throughout the game is a prime example of this. It's better if you hear it for yourself. This goes so hard. This is the type of sound you'd hear from bands like the Deftones and whatnot. Once again, Shoji Meguro and the Atlas sound team knock it out of the park. One interesting thing to note is that Digital Devil Saga was developed as a duology, with questions and plot threads intentionally left unanswered in the first game. 
Part 1 released in Japan on July 15, 2004. North America would get this game a year later on April 5, 2005, and Europe would get their hands on it the following year on the 21st of July, 2006. To give you an idea on how short development time was between these games, Part 2 of DDS released in Japan just six months after Part 1 dropped. North America also got to play it six months later as well. As for Europe, they would get Part 2 just seven months after their region's respective release in 2006, with the game coming out on the 16th of February 2007. Oh yeah, and for this video, I'm gonna be capturing footage of the game on my PlayStation 2. Now let's see where our journey through the junkyard takes us.